everybody, this is Donnie. I'm back today to share with you something new in my life. It is called the Silhouette Cameo. It is a cutting machine and it cuts automatically. I, have, I bought it because I wanted to make stickers and for my planners. And so I'm using the print and cut uh, aspect of the series here. This is the Silhouette Studio, and I have the Designer Edition up here in the upper left-hand corner of the software. And when I downloaded it, it has a learning curve. If you're interested in something like this, please expect there to be a learning curve unless you have dealt with things like this before. This was my first experience, actually, of having a software where I had to learn where all the little gadgets were and how they worked. But one thing I wanted to show you in this, and I'll probably be doing a number of short videos to show you different tricks and techniques that I have found. One in particular I have not seen anywhere on YouTube and therefore I wanted to go ahead and show it. In the lower right hand corner is a series of three arrows in a circle and if you click on that button it changes the background of your computer screen of the the designer edition and there are three choices that you can pick this particular one is the darkest of the matte of background this is the matte right in here but of the background of the matte and it also has dark in the um, toolbars. One other aspect of it is when you uh, choose one of these icons over here to work on your page, the box that pops up is also dark. I'm going to leave this box open and go back through these three again. This is the dark version. This one, as you can see, has changed this page setup feature box to white background and it has left these two toolbars black. It also has lightened the background to a medium gray. I'm going to click it one more time to the third option you can choose and this lightens it just a little bit more up at the top in this top toolbar. I'm going to change it to the darkest of the three options. And then I'm going to choose my little fill box. On It's the third option down on the right hand side. I'm going to really quick make a shape on my page. And if you'll notice, I choose this little arrow in the upper left hand corner to get rid of my option to make the box. Anytime you choose one of these options over here, it will keep that option on your uh, pointer, whatever that's called, until you click that button, just so you know. I spent a lot of time trying to figure that out. I'm going to choose the little box I made, and I'm going to pick a color and fill it with that color. Now, because I have this chosen and it was the last color I chose, over here you can see the little white square outlining the color I chose. The same thing goes in the third option over. I'm, I've chosen it and this is a fill pattern. In this area it comes with some preset fill options and you can scroll down and you can add others to your library. I'm going to choose, let's choose this plaid real quick, make sure I have my object chosen and then I'm going to choose the plaid. Let me come down and see if you can see this white background outline on the pattern I chose. I'm going to choose another one. And you can see that white pattern around the outline there of the pattern that I chose. Now, I'm going to switch again down here in the lower right hand corner 
to a different background. I'm going to actually have to re-choose this fill pattern. And I'm going to come down. I'm going to choose this option. And I happen to know that it's this one right here. But you can't see that white outline when you have it on a white background. Same thing, I'm going to choose this one. You can see the difference as I change them, but if you're scrolling back and forth and looking for it, you can't see it. So that's what I'm showing you today, is that if you're having problems seeing a pattern you've chosen, and with this software, if you add a pattern to the library from your own stash, and you want to see it, you're not going to be able to if it's got this white background. So I'm going to choose the second one here, and then again the third one, which is the darkest one. I'm going to come back to this fill pattern and choose my photo right here. And again, I have the white outline. It may be a black box, but I know that whatever pattern I choose on this side, I'm going to be able to actually see it for a change because I spent three or four weeks looking for something to help me with this. I will be able to easily pick out what picture I have used if I will go to the trouble to just click on the picture and scroll through the area I know I've saved it to. That's where you'll get the white outline. So if you are using uh, anything you've added to your library in the form of a pattern, may I suggest that you use the darkest of the backgrounds that's available to you down in this bottom right hand corner. I hope that helps y'all. It would have helped me if I'd seen it a long time ago. I hope y'all enjoy your machines and if you have any questions, do give me a, um, a message. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, I'm still relatively new and my best, my best suggestion is check YouTube for videos that actually talk about it. That's been my biggest source of information and learning. So thank y'all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Bye-bye.